Hi, welcome to Awkward Hamster. Today I'll be replacing my Acura TSX wiper blade inserts. And before I go into details on it, I'm gonna show the part number. It says Honda on here, but Honda and Acura are the same company. I bought these directly from the Acura dealership or their parts center. For the shorter blade, the one that's on the passenger side, this is the part number. For the longer blade, the one that's by the driver's side, this is the part number. At the Honda Parts Center, the pair would have just cost me $15 or so. But at the Acura Parts Center, even though it says Honda, these cost me $20. You can try ordering online if you can find a better deal. Or if you're friendly with your local parts center at Honda, show them the, the model number. Now, for changing this, I don't really need any sort of tools. If, well, besides a pair of keys. The keys is useful because this little tab over here, just turn it and it pops open, just pry it open. That's it. Even if I did not have the key, it's still, I can still easily change it. I'll show that on the passenger side. But right now on the driver's side, I'm just gonna show it with this popped open. Now, the blade itself, I'm gonna pull it towards me, towards the driver's side. See how it's being shifted? I'm gonna lift this up. And I'm place it gently back down. Don't wanna slam it back down because it'll break the glass. If I just gently back down, it's actually not touching glass right now. So I'm gonna leave it there for a minute. Here's the blade again. This was facing towards the passenger side. This was facing towards the driver's side. Notice the grooves over here. This one is capped. Whereas on the other side, there's no cap. So this means is I'm going to push this side, this direction towards my right. Once I do that, this side pops out. I can pull from this side too if I wanted and slowly slide it out. There are four grooves holding it in place. One, two, three, four. So I'm, as I'm sliding it out, there. I'm going to remove the metal brace here. So this was on the side towards me. That's on the other side, that's fine. Let me just take this new one out. Here's the new one. I'm going to first position it so that the cap is on, is on my right hand side. This is on the left hand side. I'm placing everything back in. The brace that's here has a little notch. Inside here, there's also a little notch right there. So I'm going to line this up in there because if I don't line up properly, it'll be it'll, the brace, the metal brace will, will be bulging out. That's it. Just line it up. On this side, there's a little notch too. On the other side, there is no notches or anything, so I'm just gonna slide into the slot. Okay, now that this is in a slot, I'm going to slide this back into position. This is the part that is not capped, so I can slide it in here. That's one. Two, three, and four. Then I gotta push it all the way. You feel a little snug fit, and that's it. Now that that is done, I'm going to place it back on here. Lift this up slowly, make sure you don't drop it back down. Show it 
this different angle here. Push it in. I'm gonna push it towards the passenger side. Close it. There, I'm done. Now it's time to change the one that's on the passenger side. For this one, I'm going to show how to change it without flipping up this tab, without removing the frame. All I'm going to do is remove the insert. Knowing how the insert works makes this change kind of easier. I'm just going to take this part over here. Just pull, well, on one side I'm going to push, other side I'm going to pull so that I'm loosening. The rubber insert, I'm just gonna pull it out now. Just pulling this out directly, then set it back down gently on the glass. Don't want to break the glass. Here, it also has the middle frame on both sides. are gonna line up this is the one with the cap so that means this is the one that's on my right this is on the left end place the frame back in to this new one There. Nothing is bulging out. So, what I'm going to do is just slide it in. Once I can get the first one in, the rest is very simple. So, one's in, two, just make sure I'm guiding it. I'm keep pushing in. Like over here, three. Right there in the groove. Pull it up a little bit more, four. Then for the fifth one, we pull really hard, snap it in place. That's it. Either way of changing is fine. You can remove the brace, or the, the frame, not remove the frame. The important thing is to get the correct model. This was the model for the short one, the passenger's door one, and this was the model for the driver's side. I would recommend taking these and going to the Honda dealership rather than Acura dealership to get the replacement inserts. All right, I hope you found this video useful. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.